There's a Zen saying that goes like this. <clears throat> Nothing takes a lot of time to understand. I just want to greet you here from beautiful Virginia this morning, from the forest here, and as I look around and I see all these creatures, birds and squirrels and deer and these beautiful trees, a lot of somethings are in this forest. And yet, they're much more nothing than what man is. We, these divine creatures we call human beings, have become something. And while there's nothing wrong with being something, there's this beautiful spruce tree behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but this it's a gorgeous, enormous tree. And, you know, it's one thing to be <clears throat> something, to play as something, to enjoy manifesting in the form and in a form and playing. It's a whole other thing to become it an identity, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The deep-rooted core thoughts we have about ourselves are often so incriminating, so destructive. Literally this week, I've had <clears throat> at least 10 conversations with either individuals that I do coaching with or students or just random people that have reached out to me where they are struggling, deeply struggling <clears throat> with surface layer things and like OCD or PTSD or depression. These are all surface layer issues and oftentimes they go to uh, counselors and people to try to get help and they get medicated or they get um, counseling on how to deal with this issue. and In other words, how to not overcome it, not, not transcend it, but how to deal with it. And what I like to help all of my clients with, my coaching clients, and what I like to help my students understand, and what I want to bring you to this morning is the simple realization that while nothing takes a lot of time, and this is, this, is a, this is a Zen parable, Zen saying, so understand that it's not meant to make sense to you right now. Nothing takes a lot of time to understand because this is what your core nature is. Only nothing has the potential to play in anything. But when we identify as something, when it becomes our root identity, we have identity in something, this is where our misery is. And so when I talk about attachments, people are like, well, I'm not attached to my vehicles or I'm not attached to my home, my things. This is not the core attachment. These are all surface layer attachments. Not true non-attachment is coming to the end of your own nature, your own believed self, your own personality. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, or those of you that watch the, the daily video here, I don't know if you realized, but a lot of different characters I play. I play a lot of different characters because I, I enjoy playing the different characters. And I like to intuitively flow through the characters and the different parts and different roles that they have. And I find this to be not only entertaining, but I find this to be creative and I find it to be invaluable and needed for the individuals that are in my life, for the people that I'm in uh, continual um, relationship with or contact with. And the reason why is because not one of your characters is good enough. 
Last night, you know, my daughter comes to me and she's in need of dad, a father advice. She doesn't need the guru of chill. She needs a father. And I'm playing all these characters on all these roles and it's fun, but I'm not locked into any of them. None of them, none of what you think that I am, none of the characters, if this is the first time watching this channel and you're like, oh, you know, he's a sage. No, this is just a character. None of the characters that I play are what I am. And I know this. And so I am unoffendable. You can criticize the character all you want. It's like um, an actor playing a part. You can say all that, you know, he's not good at this. Like, that's not what, it, well, then that's not what I am. I'm the essence behind the scenes, rolling in and playing a part. And as long as I'm enjoying playing that part, your critique is not, it's not that it's not important. It's not that I won't listen, but your critique does not influence me in the sense or change how I feel about myself because I don't have feelings towards myself. Understand this. When you come to the end of the feelings towards yourself, you're very close, very close to transcendence. The feelings we have about ourselves, towards ourselves, are what's the, that's what we believe. Those feelings are based upon what we believe. And when we really genuinely, authentically believe something about ourselves, whether that be a positive thing, like I'm gorgeous, or whether that be some sort of negative thing, like I have these flaws, all of that is a belief that is limiting. It's, 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 it's criminal. And what you must comprehend right now is that you are this idea that is also believing a lot of this about yourself, but neither the believer nor the one that is being believed, neither one of those are you. Neither one of those things are you. And so I'm gonna leave you with this today. Only when you come to the end of what you believe about yourself will you begin to discover yourself, your true nature. Nothing, what you really are, it takes a long time to understand. The reason why this parable will end up frustrating you is because time is irrelevant in nothing's reality. Time does not exist in nothing's reality. And nothing, there is only nothing. The perfect stillness. And this is why the scripture says, be still and know that I am God. Today wasn't meant to be an encouragement to you. Today wasn't meant to be entertaining to you. Today was meant to leave you with a deep truth that your mind might not be able to fully wrap itself around. But even worse yet is the mind that says, I do understand it. The person that says, I understand who am I, what my true nature is, has not even yet touched his true nature or her true nature. Because the eye that understands it, when you really touch your true nature, the eye that understands it is no more. Let go of your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, her, it, your true self. And this true self will intuitively direct your paths. I love you guys. Hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken to the reality of nothing, the more you play in this beautiful world.